What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So a couple days ago, the fine denizens over at the Dokkan subreddit held a vote to rank all 29 available LRs. Now originally, I was going to make my own list for an upcoming video, but I took a long hard look at this tier list and honestly, I think the community did an amazing job here. As such, I thought it'd be fun to go over everything together and have a quick discussion about why each LR is where it is. Of course, all credit goes out to Reddit user LR Tendo Pain as well as the Dokkan subreddit as a whole for putting this together. But without further ado, let's start right at the top with the Z tier LRs LR Vegito, LR Goku and Frieza, and LR Gogeta. I think it's a no brainer why these three are here. All three of these guys are capable of outputting an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage and also happen to be extremely powerful category leads as well. LR Goku and Frieza in particular currently possess the most powerful leader skill in the game and can deal massive damage right from the get-go. LR Vegito and LR Gogeta take some time to reach their full potential, which is after they fuse, but once they get there, the fight is basically over. In fact, if you factor in LR Vegito's counters, his damage output can match if not overtake LR Goku and Frieza. Overall, these three LRs are ridiculously overpowered and it comes as no surprise that the community Put them at the top of this list. Moving one step down, we have the S plus tier LRs, which boasts LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, LR Goku Black, LR Vegito Blue, LR Bojack, LR Broly, LR Gohan, and LR Cell. One thing to note is that each tier is also ordered from best to worst, starting from the left. While I agree with the units in this tier, I would honestly switch up the order a little bit. Keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion and you're free to disagree with me. But I think that LR Cell is a little bit too low on this list. If I were to remake this list, I would probably place LR Cell in front of LR Gohan and LR Broly. Now, before anybody freaks out, allow me to explain myself. LR Cell's super attacks serve a very similar purpose to LR Broly. His 12 key super attack attacks all for colossal damage, but he also provides a 10% healing, which Broly is missing. In addition, LR Cell is a very good tank, while LR Broly is the exact opposite. He's a glass cannon. So for those reasons, I think LR Cell should be above LR Broly. As for LR Gohan, he's simply too one-dimensional. His only role is to deal damage, and while he's very good at it, he's not nearly as versatile as some of the new LRs that we've been getting. As for the rest of the list, I'm pretty happy with it. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is still the second hardest hitting unit in this game behind LR Goku and Frieza, not taking into account LR Vegito post fusion. LR Goku Black is still the best healer in the game, who also happens to hit extremely hard. LR Vegito Blue might be a little controversial, but I think you have to consider him at rainbow status here, since he is a free to play unit that a lot of people can easily rainbow. He hits exceptionally hard, is an absolutely insane tank, can get his 18 key super off fairly easily, and has excellent links as well. LR Bojack is an LR that I think was originally underrated at launch, but recently people have been giving him the respect he deserves. At high HP, he can hit very hard, and at low HP, he basically turns into a brick wall. From there, we have the S tier LRs, and I can pretty much agree with all of these, although I feel like the order is fairly interchangeable here. LR Majin Vegeta has long been regarded as one of the worst of the original 5 LRs, and for good reason. He hits hard, but not as hard as LR Gohan, Black, or Broly. He can attack all, but LR Broly is much better at it than he is. Don't get me wrong, I love my LR Majin Vegeta, but his placement in the S tier makes sense. As for the remaining LRs, we have Mighty Mask, Trunks, Beerus, Bardock, and Metacooler. Mighty Mask hits pretty hard, but that's about all he can do. LR Trunks has the crits and can tank, but his damage is honestly pretty underwhelming for an LR. LR Beerus can deal some very good damage and also heals. Honestly, I would probably put him above LR Trunks for that reason. LR Bardock can tank, but damage is underwhelming similar to LR Trunks. He also doesn't have the greatest links, so I get why people aren't too high on him. Lastly, LR Metacooler Squad is just a really great free-to-play LR. You need to be at close to max HP to really get the most out of them, but they're definitely deserving of being in this tier. The remaining three tiers are all free-to-play LRs, so I'm not going to discuss their placement too much. I do think that everything here makes sense though. In the A tier, we have LR Spirit Bomb Goku, LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, 
LR Super Battle Road Goku, LR Ginyu Goku, and Free to Play LR Trunks. In the B tier, there's LR Frieza and LR Ginyu. And at the very bottom, we have the C tier, which hosts the LR Androids, LR Goku, LR Gohan, LR Tien and Chiaotzu, LR Hercule, and LR Piccolo. At the end of the day, the LRs in the B and C tiers are still decent units and they can do quite well on specific teams, but nonetheless, I definitely think that they're due for an update. So that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with this tier list and also if you don't agree, then what changes you would make to the placements. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and also if you haven't yet hit that notification bell so that youtube knows that you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content but that's all from me i hope you guys have a fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out